world of Bitcoin, we have a saying, don't trust, verify. And when you introduce signing devices, whether it be a, a, a treasure or whether it be a passport or what have you, there is a certain amount of trust that you're putting in the company that created the device to ensure your coins are safe. The easiest way to get around this level of trust is to build your own hardware signing device. And in today's video, we're gonna do exactly that. Let's get into it. Trading. I'm your host, JT, and here on the channel, we talk about Bitcoin fundamental and technical analysis. This is not going to be a technical analysis show. This is going to be a video tutorial on how to set up your seed signer so that you're able to put your Bitcoin into cold storage and rest assured that not only the hardware device has been verified, but the software has been verified as well. This just eliminates the need for trust, and I think that's one of the best practices that any Bitcoiner should take. So if you're ready to take your Bitcoin custody to the next level, let's get into the video. All right, so when you get your kit, uh, you will get a little instruction manual here with some QR codes to the setup instructions for the assembly, as well as uh, some information on uh, the GitHub repository for the software. So your kit will have a few components. You're gonna have the LCD hat. This is your screen for the signing device. You're going to have the signing device motherboard. This is a Raspberry Pi computer. You're also going to get some buttons for the signing device, the housing for the signing device. And one thing that's not included in the kit that you will need is a micro SD card. So uh, anything over two gigs is fine. This one's 16. You don't need 16. Anything over two is fine. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you actually want to put these components together without the housing just to make sure that the components are functional. So we're going to grab the uh, motherboard, the Raspberry Pi here, and right at the end there's going to be the ribbon cable uh, connector. You're going to pull this black piece out so that it is open. You're going to slide the ribbon cable in, making sure that the connectors are facing the bottom of the board. It's not going to go in all the way, so don't worry about that. Just get it in as far as it'll go, and then lightly press down on the black bar to seat the ribbon cable in place. Once the ribbon cable is in place, we're gonna grab the LCD screen, and we're gonna line it up with the pins. So there are the male pins and the female receivers. Line those up. Lightly press, this is just a dry fit, so don't press it on all the way, just lightly get a connection. And that's your seed signer assembled for the dry fit. Okay, so with the SD card, you're going to have to flash the operating system onto this card. All right, so there it will be a QR code included with your kit that will uh, bring you to this page. Uh, if you're not buying it as a kit, I also have this linked below, but you're gonna go down to the bottom under the releases, the assets, and you're going to look for the most recent IMG file. So we got seed signer OS 0.7.0.pi0.img. We're gonna download that. Also, it's a good idea to verify the software. So I'm gonna link a video down below that goes through the verification process of uh, the software download. Go ahead, verify your software, make sure that it is the correct software, and then you can proceed to flash that software onto the SD. You're gonna to need to download this software called Belina Etcher. This is also listed down below. And we're gonna take the file that we have downloaded and verified, and we're gonna flash it to our SD card. So we're gonna flash from file. We're gonna find the uh, seed signer IMG file. We're gonna open that. We're gonna select our target. Our target is going to be our 16 gigabyte micro SD card. Select. Flash. Flash complete. Once it's flashed, it automatically ejects the drive, so you can just pull the SD card out. Then we can take our micro SD card and we can insert it into the Raspberry Pi. Okay, just so that you know, there are two ports here. There's one closer to the middle of the board and there's one on the very end of the board. Just so that you know, while using this uh, device, the port that's closer to the edge of the board is a power only port. There is no data transfer whatsoever. 
So anytime you're plugging in your seed signer, you want to make sure you use that port. We can see that the uh, system is functional. The uh, user interface is active. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down into settings and we're just going to test everything out. So go to settings, go down to I slash O test, and you'll be able to see we can test all of the different buttons. So now we've confirmed that all of the buttons work. This dry fit is complete. Let's get it into the housing. All right, so I've taken the LCD screen off. I have not taken the camera off. We don't need to take that off. We're just going to line it up on the back so that it lines up with the seed signer. So we're kind of just gonna lightly caress this uh, seed signer into position here. And what you're looking for is you're gonna line it up you see this little, you'll see a little symbol here of a garbage can. And that garbage can is going to have a white bar underneath it. You're going to line the camera up halfway up along the bar. And there's also an X over this garbage can. And you're going to line it up with the center of the X. Then we're going to grab our glue dot. And we're going to attach that to the camera, the back of the camera. It's very sticky, be careful with it. So we've lined up with the center X of the garbage can halfway over the white bar, and it should look something like this. Now we can grab the large part of our enclosure and we can line up the mini USB port with the exterior port right here, going in with the USB port side first, and then lightly pressing down on the pins to get it down into the enclosure. Check the seating of the camera, the camera's right in the middle, looks good. And so now we're gonna grab our LCD hat and we're going to line it up with the pins on the motherboard. And there's a little ridge on the inside of this uh, enclosure to make sure that the LCD hat doesn't go down too far onto the pins. At this point, what we can do is we can remove the screen protector from the LCD screen. Then we're gonna grab our joystick. The joystick has a square hole. You won't, probably won't be able to see it on the camera here, but there's a square hole and it's a square peg. So just line it up kind of twist it on there. So we're gonna take these three buttons and we're gonna put them inside of the top plate of our enclosure. We'll put that over the joystick. We will tilt it forwards and line it up with the little crease that's on the bottom of the enclosure. And then we will lightly press the top plate into the enclosure. And that is it. You have assembled a signing device that you installed, you verified the software, you verified the hardware, and it doesn't get much better than that than having the peace of mind that your hardware is verified and your software is also verified. Now for the people that might be uncomfortable with, you know, creating their own hardware device, you might be thinking, well, I don't trust myself to install a device because what if I do it wrong or what if it breaks and I lose my coins? Um, it's very unfortunate that we call these hardware wallets because it's not a wallet. It is a signing device. Your wallet lives on the blockchain. This is simply the device that you use to sign transactions. Your money's not in the device. Your money is in your seed phrase. So those 12 words that you write down, that's your money. As long as you have those 12 words, it doesn't matter if you recover on the seed signer. It doesn't matter if you recover on a treasure. It doesn't matter if you recover on Passport or any other wallet, uh, hot or hardware, doesn't matter. Uh, your funds are on those 12 words. So I hope you guys give this one a try. Uh, if you do, let me know in the comments section down below. And don't forget, if you are a Bitcoin trader and you're wanting to learn how to trade, we do have a Bitcoin trading discord. Uh, you can also just come into the main chat and ask questions about the seed signer. I'm happy to answer them. And until next time, please trade safe. It is a jungle out there. Peace. Mm -hmm.